Louisville, Kentucky, they love thoroughbreds who know how to run down the stretch and get to the wire first. And certainly, they've seen plenty of them here. From Johnny Unitas to Lamar Jackson, today, the Louisville Cardinals will try to live up to that legacy. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the Louisville Cardinals. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Louisville Cardinals offense will get the first crack at it here. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Uh, everybody feeds off of his energy, and the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable, Palmer. He's also one of those guys, if he gets in a good rhythm, watch out. This dude starts firing strikes. Scanning the field, it's shot. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw, incomplete. Here comes the offense on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. This one's complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Here on third down for this offense. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Out of the gun, the inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And here comes the offense on second down. Hand off from the gun. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback knew he was in that pocket too long, but nowhere to go with the ball, and he takes the sack. And just nowhere to go with the football for that quarterback. The defense in a nickel. They had extra DBs on the field, doing a nice job in the back end covering, and just no receivers able to get open. The Cardinals will punt this one away. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Hurricane offense will get its first crack at it now. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football at a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much He'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass, but he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Quarterback on the keeper. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. And the Hurricanes will try to pin them back with the punt. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Right back to the well. 
They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Looking to throw, it's shut. Throws to the tight end. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. On the run, it's Turner. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. They'll try to pop the draw. A pickup of eight now to convert this third and two. Trying to pick up a first down. Bully ball on third and short. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down, you can get yards like that turning around and handing them. Yeah, and on the other side, he's scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. Knocked down after a short game, but enough to move those chains. And the Cardinals have it with a first and ten. The give to the back. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. They're trying to get to it. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. How great is it if you're a defensive coordinator that you know I can put six DBs on the field in my dime package and I can still get home rushing four. My guys up front are better than your guys and we're going to go prove it. And they did just that. The Cardinals will line up to punt it away. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. The RPO, it's complete. I love early in the game, getting my quarterback in the game. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm as we start the second quarter. Now on third down for this offense. To the ground to try to move the chains. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. Would they go for a big play on first and ten? Fast motion from the offense. They're going to go right back to him on first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The jet sweep pass. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. 
Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Canes will call on their punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Man, David, that last drive, an exercise in frustration, just couldn't pay it off with the score. Yeah, and I think this defense is riding the bend, but don't break philosophy. Don't give up explosive plays. This offense, Jesse, has to find a way to manufacture some big plays and some scoring opportunities. Man, I don't know if they're going to win, David, if they have to keep driving 8, 10, 12 plays. You're right. you got to find chunk plays somewhere. So identify the guys that can score touchdowns and get them the ball. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Looking for a man. It's Shuck. Makes the grab. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. And he was hit just as he released it. And it falls to the turf. Couldn't find his man last time. And that leaves him with a third and six. The aerial assault continues. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, It's Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. And the Cardinals decide to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. Wants to return it. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Crosses the 35. He's off to the races. The 20. Touchdown, K. And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space, their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy shows you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Finds his man. It's Turner. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. They'll try the run. They've got it out to the 34 after getting five there. And now on first down after converting with the run. Part of the backfield. It's Bell. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Trying play action. Fires to the big fella. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. The Cardinals are moving quickly down the field. He's going to pass. They'll run the screen. He breaks a tackle. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. On the move at the 30. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. They'll throw it from the red zone. Touchdown, Louisville! 
And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. Bangs it through for an extra point. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. That fellas, a big time top 25 duel. Let's get right to the pictures. Georgia Tech is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in the ATL for some time. They're up 14 over Notre Dame. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Got three on first down at second and seven. Wide receiver shows motion. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Powers through the defender. Oh, and what a move, what a juke, and he makes it past the marker. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. To the ground with the back. They knock him down right there. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Little touch pass to the receiver. Still on his feet at the 40. Can anyone catch him? At the 20. And he just kept running and he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Miami! Man, oh man, when you've got a weapon like that, you've got to find him and you got to give him the base. You have some plays on your play sheet and some of them just say, that guy, get him the ball, let him do the rest. Dangerous weapon out of the backfield, catching the football, making the big play. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish with a bang, a 71-yard scoring strike. Out of the end zone. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Dropping back, it's shot. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. And that is a major reason why this team is losing the football game. They can't protect the quarterback. They can't generate big plays in the passing game because up front, they're getting beaten time and time again. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. And the try is no good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Miami, 14, Louisville, 7. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. 
They took their time out of the gate, but now starting to try to take control of this game on offense here in the second quarter, Jesse. Yeah, and they're playing good complementary football up to this point, but this is a huge opportunity, David, for them to really create some momentum. Well, and the defense did such a good job keeping them in the game early. Now, holding down their end. Now get the offense rolling, put up some points on the scoreboard, and then you can really get dangerous in this ball game. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. To the air, it's Ward. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly what quarterback all over the place trying to make a play but eventually he goes down timeout called by the offense and now they just have one remaining in the half wants to throw on second down coming after it slides away showing the arm straight down the left side and the incomplete pass, taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He'll pull it down, and he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. So with only seconds left in the half, here comes the field goal unit. No good. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a fascinating first two quarters of football in Louisville. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that... Let's send it back to the fellas at Ellen N. Federal Credit Union Stadium. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. Quarterback will audible. Hand off to the lone back. Thrust that arm out. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Looking for room. It's Fletcher. Smashes through. And that stiff arm is a weapon for this runner. He uses it and picks up a first down. From the gun, running back on the move. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. From the gun, running back gets to give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. To the air, it's Ward. Pocket starts to collapse. 
And the freshman will chalk up a sack. Nice job by this defense. That's the way to set the tone in the second half. First drive, get him in a third down, get the sack, get the football to your offense. That is how you get back in this game really quickly. The Canes will bring the punt team onto the field. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Running to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They'll ride the hot hand. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. And the Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs. Running back searching for a hole. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gut, the running back looking for room. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Feeling some heat. Buys a little top, but now he's swallowed up, and he'll be knocked down for a loss on the trick play. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. The Cardinals will send out the punt unit. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23, a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll leave it with him into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. Ready to fire from the pistol. Wants to throw. It's Ward. He finds his man. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. The Hurricanes line up to punt it away. Let's see what he can do with it. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. They go to the ground. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. They're bringing heat. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over to the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for me. I've got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Getting some heat. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. 
This is just so demoralizing. You want to talk about taking a game over. That's what this defense is doing right now. They are just winning in the trenches. They're easily the more athletic and more physical unit up front, dominating this O-line. And the Cardinals Number will punt it away on fourth down. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Using his legs, it's Fletcher. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Back to the ground with the running back. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the running back. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking downfield, it's Ward. Gets it out fast. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. And that last completion left them short of the sticks. It's third down. They'll run it from the gun. And there were some collisions in there. The D finally stops him short of the marker. And the Caves send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Not going to get a chance to feel that one, and the punt will bounce out of bounds. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. As an offense, you've got to know at this part of the field, deep in your own end, you've got to do a better job in pass pro if you're going to call a pass play at this juncture in the game. Not good enough. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. Leaves it with the running back. Gets him away from trouble. That's a pickup of six. Mark it at the 10. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Trying to escape and get it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. The Cardinals will punt this one away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He'll try to feel the punt and see if he can give his offense better field position. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Quarterback checking off. They'll go to the ground. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Give to the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Ward. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. And the Hurricanes will try to pin them back with the punt. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt. Punt, punt, David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. 
third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. Man, this poor quarterback, he's got no time. You've got to protect your quarterback. You've got to find different ways to do it. Sometimes it's not working with four wide receivers. Maybe you bring in a couple tight ends, go max protection, more guys blocking, less guys in routes, but you've got to find something to have success. And the Cardinals Number will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Slips through the line. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll give it to the back. Jukes his way for more. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Here's the handoff. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. And the pass is incomplete, charged loose by the hit. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. A touch pass on the jet sweep. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Oh, the attempt is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. field looking for a productive play on first down give to the back found a little bit of running room knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four solid pickup of four on first down at second and six they go right back to him not a lot of room but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. They not only have to deal with this defense, but the noise from this crowd on third and four. Back to throw, it's shut. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought in the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. Finds his man enough for the first. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. The Cardinals have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 36. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Looking left. Makes the grab. And a big game there. He's knocked down immediately at the 45. Going up top on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Bell. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On second down, he's looking downfield. They're trying to get to it. And he can't find anyone open and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. 
Gotta have it here on fourth down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. The quarterback takes a knee. In the post game, if you start asking about the offensive struggles, the coach is probably going to say, let me tell you something, Mr. Television Announcer. They don't ask me how I won. They ask me if I won. That, that is all that matters, Mr. Television Announcer, but I think you'd want to play better on offense. You'd want to score more points, but Reese, Jesse, I want to learn as I win. I don't want to learn as I lose. And I know you're loving this one, David, because in today's era of modern college football, with all these spread offenses and up-tempo, we're used to seeing a ton of points. We're not used to seeing a lot of games like this. I wouldn't get used to seeing it, but for this team right here, they got to love the way that they played defense. They made the plays required to win. That's a happy group all around. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.